here for a couple of weeks and uh, we're here to explain that now we've missed doing the episodes that's for sure yes we, we have right. we're probably two or three weeks that we haven't been able to do them and our our problem has been our difficulty of our equipment we have purchased new equipment for our cameraman producer director and all of the above so we're hoping that this solves our problem if not, we're sending him off to New York to filming school. <laughs> <laughs> and get those big ones, you know, right. that are going to be like this. Yeah. Well, God bless him. He's hobbled along. And uh, then all of a sudden, we we filmed an episode and we finished it. We thought, oh, this is just great. And he thought, just great. Found out we had no sound. So this kind of uh, pitched us into action to make sure he has something that works for all of us, including himself. So, yes. But uh, we must emphasize to you how patient my nephew Andrew is of his mother and his aunt, who are up in age at this point, and he's very, very patient with us. So we must be patient with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm telling you, uh, summer is has come on, and we've had a couple of uh, big days of rain, but let me back up and say that... Uh, I, I just have had a birthday this past weekend, and my son Andy planned this beautiful picnic at this gorgeous park, the Pontiac Lake State Park. It, if you haven't been there and you're in Michigan, you're missing out by not going. He worked and worked, and it was gorgeous. He had all this set up, and we sat down in our chairs, looked up at the sky, and a mini tornado came through. There go the chips, there go the popcorn, there goes the pretzels. And we ended up packing everything back up and going and sitting down in a restaurant. I was so sad. I mean, he had worked so hard to do this for his mother. She had been, has been oh, distraught for yeah. three days. Just down that, oh. that afternoon when she got home. To, oh, I just can't believe it. I said, my God, women go through that every day, putting on parties for kids and everything <laughs> blows away. Your child puts one on for you, and you're so disappointed. Well, it but was. It, and it was, and I, I meant it. Yeah. Comedy. It didn't work, Betty. No. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, so we put Never everything does. back in the freezer, and we were just talking about, let's try to do a Saturday. We're going to. We looked at the weather map. Rain. <laughs> so we'll play it by ear, but we're going to get it done, and we're going to go right back to that gorgeous place. It's just Very wonderful. Good. Very good. And if you have a park sticker on your uh, license plate, it's even better. It's off 59. It's M59, and what is it? What's the name of that road? Uh, I don't Williams know. Lake. Road. Williams Lake Road. It runs right along the edge of the uh, Oakland County Airport. So as you sit in the park, you have a lot of private jets flying over your head, <laughs> <laughs> letting you know how the other half lives. The other half lives if you're sitting in the park. Yeah. Very good. Well, so we're back on now, and we hope to be back every week periodically we have to take a day or two off yeah. but we're coming uh into summer's bounty we've uh been enjoying the michigan strawberries and little by little, oh my oh gosh my they've gosh. been the best i've ever tasted we were down at pick some up a friend of ours picked a quart for each of us up at spicers two weeks ago i mean we ate ours down quicker than uh, uh, wait. suzanne did too and then I bought, we went down and bought some more and made shortcake with that. Oh my God. I think probably it's almost done now. Well, probably is there such a short time, but you know, I've learned to feel pretty darn good about Florida strawberries, California berries now, but there is nothing like a Michigan berry when it comes to They just to are red, and red, beet red, sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, anyway. So uh, we're on the tip of, of uh, things coming along. We're excited about that. 
Um, for those of you who don't know, Spicer's is on Clyde Road off US 23. Right as you get off, there's a Sunoco gas station, which we call... We call... We well, call it, it has a concession, concession in it. Yeah, of chicken and pizza and biscuits and gravy. I mean, just you can go get them to go. And that's where we call our... Oh, that's where you get the gas station the chicken. Gas station chicken that's wonderful. Yeah, the people use it for open houses and weddings. And oh, oh, what are you having? Oh, gas station chicken. Yeah. It's got a little kick to it. It's yeah. really good. Chicken strips. I'll admit that to ever having it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, I, I Suzanne. I've got to get down there. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. We have stopped several, well, several times. Yeah. And at one get together of our family, that's what we had is gas, gas station, station chicken. So. Oh, I can't remember that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, well, uh, we wanted to visit with you a minute. Now, if, before we sign off here, uh, I have already were into locally grown cauliflower. Isn't this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? And cauliflower has such good health benefits. And it's good antioxidant for cancer fighting. Well, just a moment. Building muscle. Real <laughs> building muscle. But this morning I found this at the market and bought it. And we are going to do an episode with, of uh, grilled cauliflower steaks. So what we'll do is slice this all the way through. Uh, put olive oil, smoked paprika, garlic powder, salt and pepper on it, and they'll be able, and put it on the grill, and it's delicious. So uh, look forward to this. But uh, that is one beautiful old cauliflower. And my gosh, they're doing everything with cauliflower now: pizza crust, cauliflower rice. Yeah, but uh, more than more than just cheese sauce all over it, which I still love. So or as a dip, or as a dip. Yeah, right. So. Well, uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Yes, it's been enjoyable. I'm Betty. I'm Sue. We're, We're the, the Smith, Smith Sisters. sisters.